Hi class, Mr. Falstrom here again with a new lesson. And as you can tell from the title, in this video, we are going to be classifying triangles. Let's get started. Your learning goal. By the end of this video, to be successful, you will be classifying triangles based on their properties. To be more specific, we're going to be classifying triangles by their sides and angles. And just a heads up, this lesson is very language heavy. There are, are, there are a ton of new vocabulary words and terms. So I recommend that you pause the video. If you don't understand a word, pause the video, rewind it, go back, maybe even write some of these words down. I know that means I'm asking you to maybe do some extra work, but trust me, the extra work will help you be successful. If you write some of these words down, and help uh, study them, you are going to do so much better when it comes to classifying triangles. Really fast, let's just reflect on what we already know about triangles from the earlier lesson that we did on polygons. And a triangle has three sides, three angles, and three vertices. The prefix tri means three. And there are the three different vertices on the triangle. And just as a reminder, uh, vertices is plural. A, the singular version of that word, if we're only going to talk about one of them, we would call it a vertex. However, not all triangles are the same. Just take a look right there. Um, Triangles have many different appearances, and that is why we have to be able to classify them because not every triangle fits in the same category. We have to put them in different categories. And that's what we're going to learn today. We're going to be classifying triangles. We're going to be putting them, uh, describing their characteristics and putting them into different categories. And to be more specific, we're going to be classifying triangles by their sides and by their angles. Let's start out with sides first. So get ready for some new words. First of all, just take a look at the triangle that I'm showing you right now. And what do you notice about this triangle? Is there anything that you notice about it? Well, this triangle is called an equilateral triangle. Go ahead and say it. Equilateral. And equilateral means that all sides are congruent. And do you remember what congruent means? Congruent means equal or same. So in this triangle, as you can see by the three red dashes on each side, each side is equal. They're all the same size, same length. So this is an equilateral triangle. Here's another triangle I'm going to show you. Now what do you notice about this triangle? If you said that you noticed that two of the sides had red dashes, that's good. That's a good observation. You're correct. Two sides of this triangle are equal, and the word for that is isosceles. This is an isosceles triangle, and isosceles means that two sides are congruent. So you can see the left and the right side both have that dash, but the base, the bottom of the triangle, it's shorter. So it is an isosceles triangle. What do you notice about this triangle. Well, if you notice that all of the sides have a different number of dashes, that's another good observation by you. Uh, the word that describes this triangle, it is called a scalene triangle. And scalene means that none of the sides, no sides are congruent. Um, they're all different lengths. So let's recap the three new words that we've learned to classify triangle sides. 
We can say if we're looking at the triangle sides, if they're all equal, we would say equilateral. If two sides are equal, we would say that triangle is isosceles. If none of the sides are equal, we would classify that triangle as scalene. Now it's time to test your knowledge. How would you classify the triangle in the middle? Which word describes the triangle in the middle? Isosceles. You're right. Nice job. Only two sides are equal. Which word describes the triangle on the right? How would you classify that triangle? Scalene. Correct. None of the sides are equal. And finally, let's classify the triangle all the way on the left, the one that has the purple dashes. What word describes the sides of that triangle? Equilateral. Awesome. Nice work. Now that we've talked about sides, it's time for us to talk about angles. And the first angle that we're going to discuss is called an acute angle. And here's your definition. An acute angle is any angle that measures between zero degrees and 90 degrees. So the example that I'm showing you right here, this is a 45 degree angle, and that is a number that is in between zero and 90. So that is an example of what an acute angle would look like. And we can say that if all of the angles in a triangle are acute, then we can classify that triangle as an acute triangle. So again, if you look at the example triangle, you'll see that the angle measurements inside, there's a 30 degree angle, a 70 degree angle, and an 80 degree angle. All three of those angles are less than 90. They're all greater than zero. So that means it's an acute triangle. Your next angle is called a, oh wait, I almost forgot. I have a joke. Are you ready? Here's, here's another picture of an acute angle. Get it? Acute angle. But seriously, um, acute angle doesn't mean a, an angle that is cute. It's between 0 and 90 degrees. Okay, now we'll talk about right angles. And a right angle is an angle that has an exact measurement of 90 degrees. If you look at it, it looks like a corner in a room. It looks like a capital letter L. Um, and you'll see the measurement in the corner. It, show, it says 90 degrees, but it also has that little box that's drawn in the corner. Anytime you see that little box that's drawn, that is a symbol that shows a right angle. So again, if it's exactly 90 degrees, it is called a right angle and a triangle any triangle that has one right angle is classified as a right triangle. So these are three different right triangles. It only needs to have one right angle to be a right triangle. It doesn't matter what the other two angles are. If it has a right angle, it's a right triangle. And here is a right angle joke for you. Are you ready? How do you keep warm in a cold room? Just go to the corner because it's always 90 degrees. And the last type of angle we're going to discuss today is an obtuse angle. And the definition for an obtuse angle is any angle that is greater than 90 degrees. And the example we have here, this angle measures 130 degrees. It's clearly bigger than 90. That makes it an obtuse angle. And if a triangle has one obtuse angle, then we would call that triangle an obtuse triangle. So if you look at that example, we have two angles that measure 29 degrees. Those are what? 
their acute angles, but there is an angle that measures 122 degrees. It's greater than 90. So it doesn't matter that the other two angles are acute. If it has an obtuse angle, it is called an obtuse triangle. And here's your obtuse triangle joke. Why is the obtuse triangle always upset? Because it is never right. And what that means is that an obtuse triangle it's impossible for a triangle to have an obtuse angle and a right angle. If it has an obtuse angle, it will never be called a right triangle. So let's recap what we just learned about triangle angles. An acute triangle means that all of the angles are acute. A right triangle means that it has one right angle, and an obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle. And let's, let's test our knowledge again. What type of triangle is this? It's a right triangle, very good. What type of triangle is this? It is an obtuse triangle. Which angle is the obtuse angle? 130 degrees. Correct. What type of triangle is this? Acute triangle. Excellent. Nice work. Now, let's talk about angles and sides at the same time. And I know you're probably like, what, Mr. Falstrom? We already talked about angles and sides. What else is there to say? The video should be over. Why are we talking about angles and sides when, when you already talked about angles and sides? You're just trying to confuse us. No, I'm not trying to confuse you. Um, so I know that we talked about the sides of triangles. We talked about equilateral, isosceles, and scalene. And I know that we talked about angles, acute, right, and obtuse. But we can also classify triangles by sides and angles at the same time. So here are three examples. On the left, we can say that triangle, we can call it an acute equilateral triangle because it has all acute angles and all the sides are equal. The middle triangle, we can call that a right isosceles triangle because it has the one right angle and then it has two sides that are the same length. And then we have an obtuse scaling triangle on the right. It has the obtuse angle and none of the sides are congruent. None of the sides are equal. So we can actually use sides words and angles words to describe a triangle. It doesn't just have to be just we can't, we don't have to describe, choose, we can choose to describe it just by its side. We can choose to describe it just by the angles, but we can also combine those things and describe both of them together. So at this point, I would say before we move on, I'm going to test your knowledge. If you need to pause the video and, you know, jump it back and rewind and kind of rewatch um, the earlier parts about sides and angles especially if you're not quite sure about you, you're getting the words confused, you don't have them, you don't have them down yet. Go back and watch it a couple more times and then jump back to this point and then, and then test your knowledge and see how well you can do it classifying triangles with both categories. Here we go. How would you classify this triangle? Not just by sides, but by angles. And this triangle is a, an isosceles acute triangle. Two sides are equal and all of the angles are acute. So isosceles acute. How would you classify this triangle? 
And this triangle would also be considered uh, acute. All of those angles are 60 degrees, so they're all less than 90. So it's an acute, and then it's also equilateral. All the sides are equal. So equilateral acute. Fun fact, every equilateral triangle is an acute triangle. Anytime you see an equilateral triangle, it's automatically an acute triangle. It's impossible to make an equilateral triangle with angles bigger than 90 degrees or even with a right angle. You can't do it. Let's classify this one. And the numbers are telling you how long each side is in case you were not sure. And this is a scaling triangle because the sides are all different. One side is three, one side is four, one side is five. So it's a scaling right triangle. It has that box in the corner and that is a symbol for a right angle like I mentioned earlier in the video. So this is a scaling right triangle. How about this guy? And this triangle is an isosceles obtuse triangle. You can see that um, two of the sides have the one dash in the middle, so they're congruent with each other. They have the same amount of dashes. And then it has that 120 degree angle, which is an obtuse angle. So isosceles obtuse. And I think I have one more for you. Here it is. Go ahead and classify this triangle. And this is a isosceles triangle again. It has those two sides with the two dashes, so those are congruent. And it has a right angle, so it's an isosceles right triangle. Or you could, and the order doesn't matter. When I say isosceles right triangle, you could also say it's a right isosceles triangle. That's fine too. So excellent work. And let's come back to our learning goal. So at the beginning of the video, I told you that you were going to classify triangles based on their properties by their sides and angles. So now you've had a chance to do that. So kind of check in with yourself and kind of ask yourself, okay, how did I do on this, on this, on the practice questions? Am I getting them right? Am I, am I getting this down? If you didn't do so well, give yourself some, you know, be patient because this is something that's brand new. We haven't talked about it at all this year. So if you're not getting it right, that you know what that means? That means that you need to study. Okay? Like you can learn these words, you can learn what the words mean and once you know what the words mean, you'll be fine, right? So I have some flashcards and some other things that we can use to help you figure it out. So really quick, let's recap and reflect what we just learned in this video lesson. Um, not all triangles are the same. We classify triangles by either their sides, their angles, or we can combine both of those things and classify a triangle using both of those things at the same time. And the way we classify the sides of a triangle, they are classified as equilateral, isosceles, or scalene. And then we classify angles as acute, right, or obtuse. So if you just kind of look at this slide, you can see there's a lot of new words here, right? You have to know what classify means. You have to know what an angle is. You have to know what equilateral isosceles and scalene mean. You also have to know what acute right and obtuse angles are. So um, it's going to take some time to study these. But again, if you, if you put in the time and study them, it won't take you too long. And you're going to be awesome at classifying triangles. You'll be an expert. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you again on the next one.